temperatures are nippy, the thermostats are set, the channel is located on TV2. Move across the streets to Highland Road as we play Baton Rouge. And now, here's the star. I asked them the question, should they answer it correctly? You will hear this sound. An incorrect answer is this sound. But should you hear this sound? It's the mating call of wild moose in northern Alaska, who could be our contestants next week here on We Play Baton Rouge. Let's go now to none other than Steve Arino or Alinsky, you crazy moose. Who are our contestants tonight? You said it, Pat. The shrinks are with us tonight, <laughs> and I'm not talking about midgets either. Contestant number one is a psychologist with the East Baton Rouge Parish School yes. Board. He enjoys signaling for a bear catch at fishing tournaments, oh, yeah. playing chess with all the lights off, uh -huh. and knocking out circuit breakers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Will Phillips. Will Phillips, how are you, Will? Now, Will, on that introduction, he said something to the effect that you like to signal for fair catches at uh, fishing tournaments. That's not true, is it, Will? Sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> East Baton Rouge Parish at the school board, you handle uh, all of this stuff as far as, you know, psychological things with kids and whatnot? Yes. Is that, is that pretty accurate? Well, yeah, it's, uh, it's it follows pretty close into what I do, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, Will, you sure you're not lying to us? Uh, <laughs> Come on, Will, what do you really do? <laughs> I'm just kidding, Will. Okay, now, are you ready to move across the streets to the studios of TV2 and We Play Baton Rouge? Yes, I am. Did you pull an all-nighter last night studying the tough questions that are asked on this show? Uh, no, I pulled <laughs> all month. <-er. laughs> I can tell Will is an honest guy. Another honest guy is Steve Earl. Steve, who is going to be competing with Will? That contestant number two He's is with the Pupil Appraisal <laughs> Services with the East Baton Rouge Parish School he Board. He's a while. social psychologist that enjoys watching Pygmy Bowling for Dollars, right. picking raisins out of his raisin brand, oh. and sleeping in vans. Matter of fact, that's how he got his name. A big We Play Welcome to Van Johnson. Van. Hey now, Van, this guy's crazy. Not only did Steve Earl on occasion fall asleep when we want him to announce, but he also said you got your name Van from Sleeping in Vans. Any truth to that, Van? That's absolutely true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this guy's kind of honest, too. <laughs> you sure this is an honesty night instead of psychologist night here on We Play Baton Rouge? You're familiar with the rules of the game? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, you're ready to play the game. We're ready. We toss the coin, and then we toss the categories, and then we select our living room player. Now, last week, we gave away a $50 gift certificate to D.H. Holmes, dinner for two. That's the same thing tonight. Tonight, $50 gift certificate, dinner for two, and also at Vince O'Teal's, we'll select the living room player. We'll spin the categories. We'll toss the coin. But first, we'll take care of some business. Round one coming up on We Play Baton Rouge. Stay right on the couch. The psychologist will be back to evaluate the categories and head to the studios of TV2. Tonight's game will begin right after this.
Okay, Uncle Pat has to clarify. We thought it was psychologist night, but it's psychologist social workers night. Now, once again, Van, you're uh, what are what do you what the heck do you do? I am a school social worker, not okay. a school psychologist. We're smarter than they are. Hey, wait a second. <laughs> We're talking fisticuffs on We Play Baton Rouge. Van, or I'm sorry, Will, you are a psychologist, school a school psychologist. psychologist. Yes. Okay, so it's school psychologist, school social worker. Okay, you guys, let's see if you know what a coin toss is all about. All right, go ahead and call it Van. Kids. As you can see, it is tails. You, school psychologist, sociologist, whatever, have lost the coin toss. Will, you have the option of doing what? What do you want to do? Well, I'd like to go first. Okay, you're going to get the first question. You have the option of going right to the game board right off the bat, and you're okay on these streets right here, right, Barney? Right. Okay. Mrs. Bollinger won $50 last week and a dinner for two at Los Amigos. This week, gentlemen, we want you to dig in and pick out for us there, Will, our living room player for this game. All right, let's see who we have on there. Open that up. What's the name on there? I have Melanie Darys. That's right, Melanie Darys, Brulee, Louisiana. You will be playing along with Will. Reach on in there, Van. Let's see what happens. Who is this living room player there, Van? Brenda Anding. Brenda Anding, South Flannery Road. We won't give the phone up. <laughs> anyway, you, Brenda, will be playing along with Van. Those are our living room players. And yes, indeed, you saw the address at the bottom of your skin. Right down there, it said living room players at the bottom of your day after you do that. We're now going to spin the categories. We've tossed the coin. Folks, get ready. It's time for round one on We Play Baton Rouge. Let's go and go. The categories are running. Will is up first. We go to the game board, Will. After that eight second spin, partner, you can pick sports, television, things of the past, Will, or history. TV. TV it is. Hopefully, for your first treat, listen to this question. Name the TV show about innocent country hicks who hit oil, strike it rich, and outwit the city slickers of California. Now, it starred in 1962, and it starred Louisiana's own Donna Douglas. What's the name of this show, Will? Uh, that's the Beverly Hillbillies. You're right. You've got Perkins. The Beverly Hillbillies back over to Van. Van heading for Jefferson on this psychologist social workers night. We find you going to the game board. All right, Van, let's see what happens. You're going for Jefferson. Places is there, Van. Comics, words. Places. He selects places. We select now out of the places slot this particular. <laughs> this per Here we find by 1836 under places, by 1836, this historic San Antonio mission served as a church and a monastery for over 100 years. It later became the scene of battle for Texas War of Independence from Mexico. Name this famous place, and you've got Jefferson. The Alamo. You are absolutely right. It was none other. It was none other than the Alamo. I'll take your bottom lip, pin it to your nose. When you sneeze, you'll blow your cheeks out. Okay, it's back to you, Will. We head to the game board for you. You're on Perkins going for Lee. Let's go, Will, they say. And here we find movies, events, new category, Will. Event and mixed bag, a conglomeration of a lot of different things in the mixed bag. Uh, I'll go with movies. <laughs> movies it is. Listen to this question under movies. Under movies, in what movie was the bumbling Inspector Clouseau introduced to audience? audiences? It takes place in Switzerland while he is on the trail of the Phantom. Can you name this slapstick movie comedy? The Pink Panther. That is correct. You're on Lee. Hey, the funniest thing with old Clouseau, I think it was in that movie, he walks into the hotel, and the hotel guy there has his dog, and he says, does your dog bite? And the hotel guy says no. So he reaches down to pet him, and the dog proceeds to rip his hand off. And Clouseau says, I thought you said your dog does not bite. And the clerk says, it's not my dog. <laughs> OK. <laughs> You got your second street is Lee. It's back over to you, Van. Jefferson's a street. You're heading for college. Heading out of that game board, Van. We find for you television, words, music. Hey, Van, what do you think? Words. Words it is. Listen to this question. 272 are the number of words used in a famous speech or address given by a president in the 1860s. What is the name of this famous address that includes 272 words? The Gettysburg Address. Four score and seven years ago. Exactly right. 
Van, you're on college, heading for Acadian. Hey, Will, you're on Lee, heading for Stanford. When we return, it's going to be your turn. But for right now, we've got to turn our attentions now to some business. We will return with round two of We Play Baton Rouge right after this. Travel arrangements for We Play Baton Rouge are provided by American Airlines. American Airlines, doing what we do best. Okay, Bob Charlie, thank you. Thank you, American Airlines. Now, folks, tonight, our studio audience and our contestants come from this building right here. That's the <laughs> building of Pupil Appraisal Services here for the Board of Education, the East Baton Rouge Parish School Board. Is that correct? There, they're located right there. Will and Van, they work down there. That's some nice office space you all have. Yes, sir. Okay, when we left, it was your turn. Now, when we were in our commercial break, one of the members of our studio audience said that Will and Van have their own Smurf names. Now, Will's name is actually Jokey, and Van's name is Brainy. For what reason, I do not know. But anyway, it's your turn, Jokey. Let's go now to the game board, and you select a category. Let's go, Will. Lee is the street. You're heading for Stanford. Hey, sports is there, Will. TV, things of the past history. What do you like? Stick with the winner, TV. <laughs> TV it is, TV it is. Let's go to TV. Here is the question. What were the names? What were the names, Will, of the Ricardo's neighbors in I Love Lucy? Uh, Fred and Ethel Mertz. That's right. You got Stanford. Stanford's a good street to be on. You're looking at Dalrymple. Two to go. Let's go now to Van. College is your street. Acadian is the one you're heading to. Head to that game board. Those categories are flipping and spinning, Van. Places, comics, words. Van, select. Places. Places it is. Listen to this question under places. The Merchant Coffee House was a New York City building where a certain exchange was formed on May 17th 1792. Can you name this exchange for your next street? The New York Stock Exchange. Exactly right. Acadian is your street. All right, Van, lock to three and three. Back over to Will. Back to the game board, Will. The categories are moving. You move now, hopefully, to Dalrymple. Let's see what happens, Will. Movies, events, the mixed bag. <laughs> Movies. <laughs> okay. The old movies category locked up again. Here is your question, Will. Name the actress who starred in the 1966 movie, Fantastic Voyage. That was uh, Raquel Welch. You're right, you got that <laughs> one Okay now, Will, how many times have you seen that movie, Fantastic Voyage? No answer, <laughs> okay. Well, I like Raquel Welch too, but I'm not gonna admit to it, all right. We're taking a fantastic voyage over to Van's side now. He's on Acadian heading for Park. Go to the game board again there, Van. Let's run them categories. All right, Van, let's see what happens. Social worker, psychologist night. You win, you might get a new office building. Louisiana people and sports is up there, Van. People. Van selects people. Here is the random question under people. Listen closely. This famous person is often referred to as Detroit's number one enemy who started the consumer rights movement in the 70s. Name him, Van, and you've got Park. Ralph Nader. Ralphie Boy is right, Ralphie Boy Nader. You know, Mrs. Bollinger last week won that $50 gift certificate from D.H. Holmes. One of these two contestants could win a $400 computer from Atari. 
and also the video library. Who's going to do it? You're going to have to stay tuned to find out more of We Play Baton Rouge right after these messages. Especially for you. Play Baton Rouge is taped before a live studio audience. Join us with your group or organization by calling 925-8295. You are absolutely right, Steve Arena or Olinsky. Folks, we get a lot of calls on people wanting to bring groups or organizations here into the studios of TV2 for the taping of We Play Baton Rouge. Hey, we greatly encourage that. There's no charge for admission. Just call Rick at the number that you saw, 925-8295, because tonight in our studio audience we have the groups from the social workers and psych uh, psychological uh, guys that take care of their students, you know what I mean? <laughs> East Baton Rouge Parish now, they, uh, what's the name of that group again? Pupil All together now, one, two, three. The Pupil <laughs> Appraisal. <laughs> Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> you know, back at our game, you captured your last street van, which was Park, heading for East, just one street away from the studios of TV2, but it is Will's turn. When we return, you're on Dow Ripple Reel. You all have to go to Texas. Go to the game board now, Will. We're spinning the categories for you. Let's see what happens. Okay, Will, it's locking in on Louisiana people and sports. What do you think? People. People's been good to you before. Let's see what happens this time <laughs> under the people category. This famous person, Will, starred in only three films before his tragic death. The movies were Rebel Without a Cause, East of Eden, and Giant. Name this famous actor and famous person, and you've got Texas. Uh, James Dean. James Dean, right, you've got Texas. Locked in at five and five, back over to Van. Van, you're sitting on park in your van. You're in your van, Van, on uh, park. You're vanning down to East. Let's van now to that game board. Spin those categories. The man who sleeps in his van, none other than Brainy. All right, Brainy, here we find movies, events, mixed bag. Events. Events it is, the new category of events. Let's see what we find under events. The date of this event is July 20th, 1969. Four days after liftoff from Cape Kennedy, this Apollo spacecraft with astronaut Neil Armstrong aboard becomes the first man to set foot on a celestial body. Our question under events is this, Van. What Apollo flight was that? Apollo 12. Incorrect answer. Will, it's back to you. You can option to take this question. <laughs> He's shaking his head very, very. He's an honest man. He don't want to have anything to do with this baby right here. Therefore, Uncle Pat's going to tell you living room players what the answer is. The date is July 20th, 1969. Four days after liftoff from Cape Kennedy, the Apollo spacecraft with Neil Armstrong aboard became the first man to set foot on a celestial body known as the moon. What Apollo flight was it? Number 11. Remember Apollo 11? Okay, one away. You only needed one more flight there, Van. But it's back to you, Will. You've opted to go to the game board. Let's spin the categories for you. Okay, Will, you are just one street away from reaching the studios of TV2. Places is there. Comics, words as well. Will, what do you think? Mm, places. After a decision, he takes places, and he also takes this particular question. Under places, we find buildings, Will. How many steps are there from the base to the top, where the torch is, of the Statue of Liberty? No idea. No idea. <laughs> Incorrect answer, Will. <laughs> Van, you can take this question, which I'm sure you're really going to think about a long time. Back to the game board. Back to the He's board. heading back to the game board. There are 403 steps, kids. Write this down. You may get 10 extra points on that next history class test when you go. 403 steps from the base to the top of the Statue of Liberty. It's back to the game board for the show that entertains and informs. Let's spin for you, Van. Let's find for you this time. Park, East, and then possibly Highland to TV2, sports, TV, things of the past. The past. The past is there. It is history. Listen to this question. 
What state was the first to join the Union? Vermont. Incorrect. Will, you can take this question. Head over Highland. Correct answer could bring you into the winner's circle today or it's back to the game board. I'll have to go with the game board. Okay, what state was the first to join the Union? It was none other than Delaware. In 1787, it was the first to sign and to ratify the new Constitution. So it's back to the game board as you've opted to do well. Let's spin the categories, the final moments in the final round of Weebly Baton Rouge. Here is what we're going to do. Texas is the street, but you're looking now at sports, TV, things of the past. TV. TV's been good before, Will. Let's see what happens this time. Under television, the longest prize fight. TV? That's the that's sport. <laughs> hey, wait a second. TV. I know we got TV in here somewhere. <laughs> okay. I, I got it. Here it is. TV. All right. Here it is. Television is the category. Here's the question, Will. What was the pet lion's name on the Adams family? <laughs> <laughs> it is not. <laughs> uh, Smurfette. <laughs> Wait a second, Will. Did you say Smurfette? Yes. I'm sorry, Will. Incorrect answer. Back to you, Van. The question or back to the game board? The game board. You remember the Adams family, folks? It was none other than Kit Kat. You remember Kit Kat? Okay, back to the game board for you, Van. Let's spin the categories. You're one, two streets away from the studios of TV2. Here we find this time movies, events, mixed bag. What do you think, Van? Events. Events it is. Here is the question under events. Under events, it's March 28, 1969. This former president and general of the Army dies at Walter Reed Hospital in Washington, D.C. after a state funeral. He is buried in his boyhood home, Abilene, Kansas. Answer it correctly and name this former president. You've got East. If not, it goes back to Will. Dwight Eisenhower. That's right. You got East Street. We're at tied five and five. Will, this could be it. Go back to the game board. Spin the categories. Will, let's see what happens. The final moments of Weebly Baton Rouge. Here we find for you. Sports pops up again. So does TV. Things of the past or history. Try TV again. TV it is. Here is the question under TV. What is the name, Will, of the well-known quiz master on You Bet Your Life? Answer it correctly, Will. You move over Highland is the winner today. Uh, Groucho Marx. Will, that's absolutely correct. You hit the city of the TV too It's not other than Groucho. Isn't that how Groucho used to walk? You got it right, Will. It is Groucho Marx. You've moved to the studios of TV2 first. We have a prize for you. And for you, Van Brainy, we're throwing you out of here. <laughs> no, you never go home a loser on We Play Baton Rouge. The game show that interforms and entertains and rewards proves it when you turn your sights to this monitor and we show the people at home what we have for you. Well, you picked the categories and did your best to answer the right questions. Your first prize tonight isn't just right yet, but it will be. You've won a $100 gift certificate from the Unfinished Furniture Centers on Airline Highway in Greenville Springs Road. The Unfinished Furniture Centers not only offer quality solid wood home furnishings, but a trained staff to instruct you in this fun-filled experience. After your project is completed, it's time to relax. And what better way to do that then dinner for two at Koto of Japan. Koto of Japan, where dinner is entertainment. Your dinner is truly an oriental extravaganza with shrimp, tender steak, and Japanese vegetables served right at your table. It's always a delicious experience and a delightful evening at Koto of Japan, 8461 Green Moss Drive, just off airline. When dinner is over, the show must go on, and it does, as you'll head to Cortana Cinema for another great feature attraction. The best of Hollywood for you and your guests at Cortana Cinema. All from the Unfinished Furniture Center, Koto of Japan, and we play Baton Rouge. All right, okay. I think you're going to like that. And also, for Melanie Derry's, for Melanie Derry's, that's what happens when we play Baton Rouge, but... For over here for Will. Let's go now and show you what you, I think you're going to thoroughly enjoy what we have for you. Turn your attention to the monitor. What do we have, Steve? 
The mind is just like a computer. And you've proved it tonight on We Play Baton Rouge by calling up that information quickly. Your prize package starts with another computer. You've won the Atari 400 computer system. Yes, Atari has brought the computer age home. Perfect for the entire family. You'll play the ultimate in computer games, teach yourself new subjects and skills, and hook up to major information networks personalizing your computer by programming it yourself. It's from Atari and available at the Video Library, Baton Rouge's Video Connection. Yes, the Video Library is your source for home video entertainment. From cassette recorders to video games, the Video Library rents and sells pre-recorded movies. The Video Library, 10466 Airline Highway, and their new location in Village Square on College Drive. We programmed something else just for you. In your prize package, you've also won... A trip to Houston, Texas. You'll board American Airlines and jet to Houston. American Airlines doing what we do best. In Houston, two nights are yours as you and your guests visit the city's finest luxury hotel, the Whitehall Hotel, with three fine restaurants, cocktail lounges, health club, and pool. The Whitehall, you've never felt so special. All from We Play Baton Rouge, the Video Library, American Airlines, and American International Travel. Travel here in Baton Rouge and wherever you want to be tomorrow. All right, how about that? I think you're going to like the computer from Video Library. American Airlines sending you over to Houston, Texas. American International Travel Gate going to hear all the accommodations. Thanks for playing We Play Baton Rouge. And we also have the hat and shirt that we'll give to you. We'll do that in just a second, but for right now, we're out of time. Hey, Van, listen. Tell everybody back there at that real nice building on the river we said hello. This has been another edition of We Play Baton Rouge. Pat Shingleton saying no matter what game you're playing, you play it the best you can. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>